It is a beautiful spring day, and Iktomi and the missus are excited to have his sister Ellie's kids for the weekend. Johnny and Maisie are looking forward to participating in a fishing derby, sponsored by the Boys and Girls Club. Iktomi, it says here that Tribal Health will be featuring some information on infection prevention at the fishing derby. Yes, dear. Can we go, Auntie? We just learned about ways to prevent the spread of germs in school. I would really like to learn more. Maybe I can just get some information and take it back to my class. I'm sure they'll have something. Oh, there's Randy, the health director. It looks like he's giving away some water bottles. Let's go. Uh, Johnny and I are going to stick our poles in the water. Right on. I hope the fish are biting today. Why don't you two meet us along the shore when you're done? Okay, have fun. And Iktomi, stay out of the water. After the Mrs. and Maisie spend some time visiting with Randy, the tribal health director, they head toward the shore to meet up with Johnny and Iktomi. That was great. I learned a lot more about preventing infections. I'm so glad we stopped. Maisie, do you see Iktomi or Johnny? There they are. I hope they caught some supper. It's the big one, Johnny. Get the net. Uh. For you or the fish, Uncle. Look, I think it's almost six pounds. This crazy fish ate my best lure. Oh, Iktomi, you've done it again. Nice work rescuing your uncle, Johnny. Do you have any of that hand sanitizer in your purse? I do. Maisie and I learned from Randy at Tribal Health today that when soap and water are not available, it's okay to use hand sanitizer. But you will need to remove the dirt you can see from your hands before you use the sanitizer. Here, Uncle. We'll rinse them with this water first. Now you can use the hand sanitizer. Okay, kids. Let's all head over to the community garden for some fresh produce to have with the fish. Uncle Iktomi, look at the corn. Uh, uh, would you help me lift this watermelon into the car? The family returns back to the house with big appetites and all the fixings for a picnic dinner. We'll all need to wash our hands with soap and warm water before we start. And it's not a good idea to put raw meat like this fish on the counter with other food. We wouldn't want parasites or bacteria to be on the counter when we put something else on it. So Johnny, you get a plate to put the fish on, and Maisie, you put the vegetables in a bowl. I'll disinfect the counter before I start dinner. My mom only sprays once and then wipes it away. Many people do that, but it's important to spray again after wiping the counter and then let it air dry. That's what the label says. I'm going to go outside and get the grill warmed up. All right, Iktomi. Well, let's clean up the corn and cut up the watermelon while the counter is drying. Have you kids learned about washing food before eating it? We always wash fruits and vegetables from the store before we eat it. They might be covered with germs or bacteria from being handled at the store. You kids are so smart. Maisie, remember how Randy showed us the hand washing chart? And how most people miss the tips of their fingers and right at the base in between them when they wash? That is just one way germs are spread. Oh, and I picked up this list today. Here, let me read it to you. It is always important to wash your hands after blowing your nose, sneezing, coughing, or going to the bathroom. After contact with blood or handling animals or fish, and before handling food. It says to wash hands after contact with someone who is sick. Before and after touching a cut or wound. Before and after touching your face. After handling garbage. And any time your hands look dirty. That's a lot of hand washing. The fish is nearly done. So Maisie, Johnny, and the missus take the fruit and vegetables outside. The last time I was at the fishing hole, I caught a fish that was so big it hung over the sides of the grill and... 
Eek Tommy, not on your hands, not on the fish. Chew! Eek Tommy is a wise man. Well, at least a man with a spatula in one hand and an oven mitt on the other. Oh, Eek Tommy.